Israel's parliament just approved a bill that will limit its court's ability to overrule government decisions. The law has divided the country and has prompted mass protests. The shekel in response fell against the dollar. For more on this, let's get to our Bloomberg Israel Bureau Chief, Ethan Bronner. Ethan, what will be the big impact of this on Israeli policy and Israeli policy making? Well, that's a great question. We're really just trying to see as we go forward. Uh, the fear is that it will uh, make the regulatory environment much more politicized, uh, that it will um, also allow uh, the political leaders to do things uh, that, uh, would, that the law would normally stop them from doing. For example, to fire people who oversee them or to uh, hire cronies, uh, because these things have all been up against the so-called reasonableness test until now. The Supreme court has been able to weigh in and say, no, that's not reasonable. And politicians have decided not to do something for fear that the court would call it unreasonable. Now, assuming this law survives uh, any Supreme Court scrutiny right now, uh, that will not be possible. So it could be a greater politicized environment. That's the biggest fear. Well, and of course, we've already seen some political turmoil around this in the form of protests and the like. Ethan, what is happening there today. What is likely oh, to happen uh, going <coughs> forward? Just Right. So enormous, enormous angst. Uh, this is uh, interestingly led by the people who've uh, built the wealth in this country. Israel was not a wealthy country 30 or 40 years ago. It is today GDP per capita above most of Europe. Uh, and it has been mostly produced by the high-tech sector in this society, uh, mostly here in Tel Aviv. And uh, they've been out on the streets for seven months worried about a law like this being passed. So uh, how they're going to react is a little bit unclear, but there's an enormous amount of fury. There'll be much more protesting in the coming uh, all night and in the coming days. And then the other thing that's happening is that reservists in the military are saying that this is uh, they 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 were serving this country and putting their lives on the line because they believed in it as a democracy, and they no longer are willing to do so. So that's an enormous set of risks for this country right now. Right. And, and Ethan, I mean, part of your and the team's coverage uh, about these protests that we've seen, um, 10,000 reservists uh, joined the 1,200 pilots from the Air Force, dozens of That's top right. former security right. officials. What is the impact of having those types of military personnel joining the protests? Uh, enormous. So first of all, it, it creates great uh, credibility for the protests because these are the people who've built and stood by the country. But you know, Israel is in the middle of, like a lot of countries, a gap between the, the sort of the populists who uh, who have voted for this government and the expert class, the professional classes who are upset about it. So you know, the interesting question is, how does the country go forward without an expert class on board? And I think that uh, that's something that a whole bunch of countries are facing. But in this country, mm -hmm. which is in a tough uh, neighborhood and which has to defend itself, uh, you know, the idea that it's, it's not actually going to be at risk so much from outside but more from inside has caused a great deal of soul-searching in Israel.